Hello, guys. Welcome to the Care Girl Podcast. Today, I have a lovely, amazing woman here today with me. She has an amazing company alongside her husband, and I just cannot wait to get inside of her story on how she's saving lives. And just, I just want to hear all about all of the things. Please introduce yourself to us. Yeah, so hi, I'm Danai Moya, um, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Dalfistem. And great to see you, Alexandria, and, and I'm so glad to be here today. So I um, I met you last year at an investor pitch, um, and I and I asked you, I believe I asked you all then, like, hey, I got to get y'all on a podcast. And it was, like, totally brand new then. So circle back around this year. I see you all are, are making strides in the company and and. Um, all of that. Can you give me a, a rundown of like what what's happening right now and today, and then we'll go back to how it all started. Yeah, sure. So yeah, that's right. It's been a bit over a year that we met, and um, I remember in our conversation, you immediately got the the vibe, the vision of the company, and that was really exciting. Um, so Delphi Stem is a, is a biotech company. It's uh, on stem cell science um, and genetics, and we believe. The reason why we built the company is because we want to help people proactively um, help their health, um, have a proactive mindset to health rather, with uh, stem cell storage and uh, genetic screening, and that can help them live a long, healthy life and uh, achieve longevity. So we soft launched earlier this year our stem cell storage service, and that's when we reconnected. Um, and that basically means people have the opportunity to store their stem cells while they're young and healthy um, in order to use them later in life um, or both for preventive and personalized um, reasons. And now we're about to launch our genetic screening services. It's going to go live next week. And uh, that's why we're excited to connect today to share that with you and your listeners. Awesome. So tell me more about the genetic screening. Is this is this a screening like where you're going to find out like if you have any underlying diseases that could come come up or your family lineage or mm -hmm. how, how does it work? A, a little bit, yeah. So it's more about giving you insights about the risk level that you might have to certain diseases and conditions. And um, we have three kind of like three levels, um, you know, the basic that includes the most critical conditions um, and then a more extended one and an advanced that is a fully comprehensive uh, genetic screening. And basically what that does is it gives you information on the, the hereditary risk that you might be carrying from your family, like you just said, um, and that's in your genes, right? But you don't necessarily have anything. Um, we only discover when we have something, if we have symptoms, right? Yeah. Uh, by having that knowledge, you can take uh, the appropriate steps to hopefully prevent that uh, condition from manifesting in your life. So it's more about having the information, having that insight um, that you can share with your medical doctor and take better care of your health um, and just be mindful about that as, as we all grow older. So I know a lot of the women are going to want to know, can can you reverse aging? <laughs> <laughs> That's the million dollar question, right? <laughs> I mean, not, you know, it's funny because it's a very it's a very hot topic and it's very interesting to see the different perspectives out there. But what is reverse aging to begin with, right? We need to define what is the goal that we're looking for. If it's only aesthetics, that's one way to look at it. But if it's about being in a better, um, you know, in, in a better shape, um, feeling better, living your life in a, in a better way, um, having uh, stamina, all of those things, it's obviously a combination of things. Everybody wishes there was a magic pill, but um, we, we always talk about the three pillars to longevity. Um, so the, the first pillar that we're all familiar with is uh, the nutrition and lifestyle. So obviously yeah. the way we eat, whether we exercise or not, plays a huge role. Um, the second pillar that we always talk about is the, you know, the level of stress, the kind of um, lifestyle that you have, if it's hereditary, if you're social, if you meet with your family, with friends, with loved ones, that really helps in your health. And the third pillar that we talk about is the taking advantage of scientific advancements, right? And that includes everything that you might hear of or um, scientific, you know, both scientists and, and um, people in the wellness industry might be working towards. So if you do all three, I don't know about reversing aging, but yeah. if a hundred healthy years sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. <laughs> so I, that's I, our goal. I think you need to move the term to gracefully aging. Exactly. 
Exactly. You know, because I think that, you know, a lot of the aesthetic piece, like, you know, I know I, I get it. You know, you got the Botox and the fillers. I think a lot of a lot of the women don't really research, the, you know, hey, how is this going to in, uh, interact with my my body type and, and, and my in, inside? You know, we're worried about a look versus like, hey, internally, I, you know, I may need to take some different vitamins. Or I may need to do, you know, some genetic testing to see because you may have some other things going on that you don't know and and all we're worried about is the aesthetic side so i i like that i like the overall holistic approach um and scientific i would say uh, that you all are taking because it, it is about longevity and living living a good life um and healthy because we know people that are living they're living but they're not living a healthy life they're constantly sick they they're going through different mental mental problems do you think that like bipolar and schizophrenia can that be kind of discovered at all early on i mean it's interesting so you, you mentioned a couple of really interesting points there i first of all i couldn't agree more with you about you know taking temporary actions everybody likes you know, the, the instant gratification element, but we need to look about long term. What are the things that we can do to help our health in the long term? Um, so, yeah, the, the examples you mentioned are ephemeral uh, on the aesthetic side. But if we do take good care of our skin, of our body, of, of our well-being, um, you will be surprised. You, I'm sure we've all seen people that look amazing and you wouldn't believe how old they are. Now, on to your second part of your question. It's a little bit more complex. So um, neurological disorders, um, they, like schizophrenia, from my understanding, it could be hereditary. Um, there might be a genetic uh, factor in it. The marker, I don't know what is the level of the extent of that. So that's probably a question for Dr. Noel. Um, but to, to answer your question, it's good to have the understanding of our neurological uh, predispositions and level of risk that we might carry in our genes so that we know with the help of our medical doctor what kind of lifestyle we should be mindful of, uh, of having and caring right. so that those wouldn't manifest. Most neurological disorders um, or mental disorders, I would say, um, from what I understood, they could be managed, but the more extended ones, like schizophrenia, I think that's something that has to be discussed with, with the experts because it's, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's at a different um, kind of market. I, I don't know if that explains it well. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, what, um, so what, what type of diseases um, can this genetic testing uncover um, that, that really yeah. that you can see very effective if you get ahead of it? That's a, that's a very good question. So that is the, the reason we put together the different plans. So in the basic plan is about 24 diseases, um, not just diseases and conditions, including our, our ancestry. A lot of people are curious about that. Oh, wow. And um, we wanted to make sure that if somebody only wants to go for the basic plan to have the highest risk or the most critical conditions that you would want to know. So for example, for women, we make sure that breast cancer is included. For men, it's a prostate because those two are the ones that are, you know, they're having the higher uh, number of statistics. Then in the um, kind of in the extended plan, we included some of the neuro neurological disorders because this is a condition and a question that comes up a lot with the people that we talk about. And then the extended plan that is a full comprehensive plan is 72 um, conditions and diseases and that includes you know blood related disorders like uh, leukemia lymphoma things that are quite serious but the statistics are not as high as the the top diseases that we talked about so the way we place the different plans is depending what is your interest in and what is more critical to you um and and to make sure that you know it caters to all needs uh, of people okay i love that i love that um so how did this all start? I know I read your bio and I pretty much I asked you in person kind of like how this all started. Um, so take me back to your college times and meeting meeting Noel and all that good stuff and just kind of like like how did this like how did you guys burst this baby? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we, you know, it's this serendipitous thing. I often refer to to Steve Jobs' speech uh, in Stanford in the early two thousands that he talks about like everything makes sense looking back, and I always make that reference because looking back, it all makes sense how we it all got together. So, um, as when we met and we talked about, I finished high school and college here in Michigan. I went back. To, I grew up in Greece. I'm, I was born and raised in Greece. Um, so I finished high school, college here in Michigan. I went back to Europe. I, I did my first master's then i relocated to to i stayed in london 
for about four years. I relocated to Dubai in the Middle East for almost 10 years, and I worked in different organizations, mostly in-house in the corporate world. And then a professional opportunity brought me to Germany. That's where I met Noel. And, uh, you know, initially when we, we first met, we were um, talking about, you know, our dreams and passions and all of that. And as you know, he's a stem cell scientist. He's been doing this all his career. He's a doctor. He's been published. So all of that. But for me, stem cell science was something that was a little bit new. I knew a little bit, but, you know, not to the extent that I know now. So when he explained to me the life-saving potential that this technology has and the fact that it's mostly in the academic and, you know, research circles, I was, I was blown away. I was like, wow. people need to know about this. Like, you know, more people need to know about this and people need to be able to benefit from this technology. Um, as I think we, when we met, I told you like we, my mother um, had leukemia. It was a very traumatic experience. Uh, oh. Anybody that has had a family member, you know, experience any kind of cancer is super, super traumatic. That's common. Yeah. Um, and luckily she survived. But and when I yes. talk, but you know, when we were talking about about how the whole approach to cancer is today, um, I understood that with stem cell technology, the whole experience could have been very different. Um, she could have had tailored treatments to her instead of trying different things and having everything that. You know, people experience. I don't want to get emotional, but people experience when when they go through those kind of um, treatments. Um, and you know, a light bulb went off, and we said, "Why don't we connect and you know merge our skills and bring this to life and help other people?" You know, he lost his father to cancer, so this is something that is very personal, not just for us and our families, but practically every person we speak to. Every person has a similar story, and. As heartbreaking as it is, it's very motivating for us to push things forward and bring this to public and make it accessible and affordable. Because you hear about scientific advancements and people already think everything is in the thousands. We made yeah. our stem cell subscription service accessible at $39 a month. Like that's the cost of a lunch a month. And we did right. this on purpose, right? People were mm -hmm. telling us, no, you don't have a different. No, we, we want. If somebody wants to do this out of pocket, we want them to be able to do it. Right. And I think that that will impact and change a lot of lives because um, just being able to get ahead of, of um, you know, a potential uh, threat to your life, uh, you know, living, it, 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 it can actually help you, your children. Um, so how does that process work of storing the stem cells? Um, can you give us a little, because that it's just my head was like, how does this work? How does that work? Yeah, no, sure, of course. It's, uh, it's so easy. Basically, we just collect a urine sample. We have a kit um, that once you register on our website, www.delphistem.com, um, you get the, you receive the kit in your, in the registered address, your home or wherever you choose to receive it at. Um, you collect your sample, you send it back to us here. And once we receive it, we start, we start the process of reprogramming the urine cells into inducid pluripotent stem cells. That's the scientific process that goes behind the scenes. And that takes a few weeks. So once that's, that process is complete, you get notified that, you know, um, everything is done and now your stem cells are frozen for life. Oh, wow. So that process, um, what's the price point for that? Is it different price points or? Yeah. So the, the stem cell storage, it, the plans we have is a monthly plan at $39 a month, an annual plan, $3.99 a year. So you get two months off. And we just introduced recently a lifetime plan. And that was a result of a lot of people asking for it, that they just wanted to pay one time and not think about it, store their stem cells for life. And the lifetime plan is $9,999. So it depends what age you are and where you are in your life. When you do the math, it really makes sense. Um, and we also have an installment plan of 12 um, different payments if you do the lifetime plan. Again, to make it accessible and easier for people to do it if they want to do that, that plan. Okay, so, so, so how are they stored? Oh, how? how? Uh, so it's actually, I, I wish I could show you the lab. So the, oh, after I, the, when you, when you guys are open, I'm still going to, that's going to be my next part of coming. Through you're going to come. Yeah, we've been talking about this. 
yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll be you'll be visiting the next for sure. Um, so yeah, the 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 whole process takes place in the lab, right? So once the cells have been repro reprogrammed into induced pluripotent stem cells, they are cryostored. So we have um, right here in the same place in the same facility, they are cryostored. So they're basically frozen. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you need to access them in the future for whatever reason, then you know the the science team will go through the process of thawing them. If you need them for a particular organ, they will be reprogrammed towards an organ. And that is obviously a different process and service. But if that's what you need to do um, alongside with your medical doctor, um, everything can be done in-house. And that's the beauty of it, right? That we are able to do everything in-house. So give me, a, give me an example of when you would, when you would use the stem cell um, the, for, that you have stored. Let's, let's say, you know, for, for you or a family member, yeah. um, that like, how would this, how would this help in that moment? Yeah, great question. Um, it would probably be just for you. I don't know if it would be applicable for a family member, but that's okay. a good question. But you can store so it say, family members, they can store it. Exactly, their and we recommend that, by the way, especially if you know that there have been hereditary diseases in your family, that's my our, our recommendation. So let's say, um, knock on wood, you know, you store your stem cells today, and you know, a few years down the line, you happen to get sick or you happen to be um, facing a condition. And if your doctor is considering a number of different medications for you, the way they normally go about it today, they just kind of go empirically. So they say, I have four different medications. Let's go ahead and start with uh, medication number one, see how your body is re responding to it. And if you're doing well, you carry on. If not, we try another one. And you're nodding because we've all been through that experience. And it doesn't have to be a serious disease, but it's anything that we go to the doctor for, we try any medication. And that might not work for us, or it might. Now, in more serious cases, the, the harsher medications, like chemotherapy, for example, they're very harsh. Like the side effects, the toxin accumulation in the body, it's some people and some bodies cannot even take it. Um, so what we want to offer is if your doctor is recommending or is considering rather different medications for you, instead of you having to try those medications and see what works, what we can do is we can test, um, we can do an efficacy and toxicity assessment test here um, on the three, four medications your doctor is considering on your own stem cells. So okay. if the condition that you're facing is I don't know, in the kidney, in the liver, wh whichever organ, we would have to reprogram your cells into, um, uh, or differentiate the cells into the, the, the organ in question, and then test the different medications and see how you would respond to it in the lab, and mm -hmm. give that data to your doctor, and then your doctor can make a better assessment, or, you know, with a higher likelihood of which medication um, would have, yeah, higher likelihood of working better for you, and then they would probably prescribe that one. That's what ah, makes sense. Okay. Okay. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, so you're kind of like um, getting getting a a better view of like the chemistry between you and that medication, and if it will even help. That's one way to look at it. Yeah, because basically we want to avoid being our own guinea pigs. We want to avoid unnecessary toxin accumulation in our bodies from any source or any direction, and that is one very effective way to go about it. Understandable. Understandable. I think I kind of now I'm kind of getting the full uh, the full the full view of <laughs> cat is so silly. I'm, I'm kind of getting the the full the full picture of everything, and um, I want to I want to touch on you know how strong you are and, and how many years did this take to really like come to life? Like how long have y'all been working on this project? Yeah, it depends what you count as a starting point, right? So Noel has been doing this all his career. Uh, he's been a stem cell scientist. He's worked in different labs from California to Germany. So uh, that it had, he had to have had that experience to to be able to be where we are today. But building Delphi Stem as a company, we've been working on it for more than than two years. Uh, we officially started the company two years ago. We started building it behind the scenes. Um, luckily, thanks to all of our angel investors, we were able to get our own lab here. The equipment, you know how it is with scientific equipment. They're they're costly. They're they're bulky. <laughs> so you need the space and the resources to be able to do this. So we. We were um, we built the company in the last two years. We've been building um, and, and testing everything because the protocols are, you know, scientific lingo, right? So the scientific work has 
always been kind of like similar, but it's very important for Noel to complete all the, the work in our lab and the scientists that he's collaborating with to do everything in house, because we wanted to see all the processes before we go live. And uh, after building it for two years, we decided to soft launch this year, like I said earlier, because we wanted to make the stem cell subscription service as soon as possible, yeah. because we believe that the earlier you store your stem cells, the better for you. So we didn't want to wait until everything is in place um in terms of all the other services that we have in the roadmap um, so we soft launched with a stem cell subscription service the genetic service was in the roadmap for later in the year but luckily we were able to advance a little bit quicker so that's why now we're in the position to launch our genetic services um, yeah by next week it will be publicly out I love that. I love that. So, you know, I'm a care girl. So I always ask, um, is, especially my um, my women, how, how do they take care of themselves? And I, I would love to get a take on how you do it. I know you have a new baby. Congratulations on that. How old Thanks. is your girl, right? It's a girl. Yeah. Thank you. She's uh, she's about to turn eight months. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And you're, you, you're launching all these new things. Like, so how do you take care of yourself and you know, how do you show up as a as a mother, as a wife, like, and still, you know, able to do, show up show up as a COO, and and you're doing all these things? Like, give us a give us a little bit of insight on that. <laughs> you know, I think, and you might be able to relate to this too. But I think once you find your purpose and your calling. Um, you're so driven and so motivated by what you're you're building and what you're doing. You're changing people's lives. You're contributing, you know, to the greater good in our communities. And it, it feels similar. Um, it, it feels like this for me. I feel like I'm so passionate about what we're building and how we can make a positive um, change in our communities and in the world, really, with what we're bringing to the public that um, I'm, I'm laser focused in making that a reality. Now, how do I take care of myself or how do I go about about my, you know, my my different hats in my life as a mother, as a wife, as an entrepreneur, uh, it's being super intentional. I think, mm -hmm. especially for us women, we are, you know, we're trying always to juggle so many things at the same time. But if we are intentional, mindful, and selective, then we can do, you know, the best we can in the things that we are focusing on. You cannot please everybody. You cannot be everything to everyone all at the same time. So you need to prioritize and see what matters to you most and give it your all, basically. That's how I look at it. I love that. I love that. I love that. Well, because I, I, I know, um, I know, I saw you with the baby, and I was like, this is so, this is so amazing. I love it. I love to see families and, you know, and this is being alive and just being created and you're staying in that creation mode and i just i really i really love that give me three things that your family would describe give me three three words that they would describe you as oh um i think they would definitely describe me as as ah uh, that is so hard <laughs> driven uh you know driven i'm i can definitely see that <laughs> positive that's something that that has been yeah a lot of people have been giving me that and driven positive and you know positive optimistic i, I don't want to use the same term optimistic and hopeful about the future a lot of people get bogged down really easily but there's so much good so much to to hope for and to be optimistic about so that's something that i'm really big on don't get don't let the negative stuff bring you down type of thing yeah. um and a third, I, I would say resourceful. And I think that is also a testament with Delphi STEM. Yes. It had to be resourceful uh, and we had to be very lean. <laughs> so that is something that I, I can, yeah, I think that's a good quality. I love that because I think that, you know, when, a, when someone meets a man, he's a doctor, he's this, he's that, um, you automatically correlate a certain lifestyle. Um, <laughs> versus like being resourceful because you know there's a vision there and you have to kind of like you, you you as the woman of course if you are if you believe in that vision you you kind of multiply that vision and i think it's kind of a it's a it's kind of a loss call it's not a lost cause but it's, it's kind of lost in our generation today um because a lot of women they want a man who like oh he already is there like i don't want to have to work in the business i don't want to have to do all of that mm -hmm. you know so i think that um you're 
example of you know a woman goodness gracious <laughs> a woman <laughs> who is is innovative and is in an inspiration um and and i think that um the reality of entrepreneurship is it's, it's hard you got to be a little crazy it is hard but you know i think thank you by the way for for saying those nice things I, I think it's more it also has to make sense right in our case and it wasn't the plan when we met um to really end up like co-founding the company together it was more like i can help you with my skill set uh, because that was already partly his vision like Noah's vision was to bring this technology to the public now how it got to it to the way it is today, it was the combination, you know, of both our vision and our skill set. But I think in our case, and and I don't know about other other people, but our skill set has been complementary. Um, because for me, I was always more in the marketing, business operation side of the corporate world. So I I didn't have one particular. I had a product. I had a service. I went from fashion to furniture. You know, it's not that I was only having one thing. And but all that experience from different industries um, kind of gave me all this skill set that has been super helpful to where we are today. So we are complementing each other in areas that is necessary for the company to be where it is today. And I think that that might be also the case in our personal life, but we we work well together in the way yeah. we are. So it's not a dynamic that, um, yeah, I feel like the dynamic is very well balanced and it just happened. For some people it happens like this, for others it might be more, you know, you make an effort to get there. Uh, but we're both very glad to be here because we see the value that, that um, we both bring to the company to yeah. where, where it is and to bring the whole vision to life. We have more things in the pipeline and the roadmap. So we want to make sure all that comes forward um, and is available to people. Yeah. And this, the next energy, next energy matters. And I think that this is, this is definitely, it's so many different angles that you, you all are coming from. And this is, this is going to be, a, you know, a trillion dollar company. You know, I, I see it. I see it in you, um, and I just I, I really believe in the vision. Like I say, when I when I spoke to you all about it, and I you know heard it, every, everything the presentation you did, I just was like it blew me away. Um, <laughs> Thank you. But it's it's it was born, and now you know it's walking around, and and I, I can't wait to. I'm I'm gonna definitely. Uh, I want to try it myself, and kind of like you know document it for others, and. You know, maybe become an affiliate for you all. Um, I would love to do that. And Absolutely. you know, when labs open, is are you in? You guys based in Atlanta still? Or? Yeah, yeah, we are in Atlanta. We are in North. Yeah, we are. We're in Atlanta. Perfect. Perfect. So people can do this from all around, or will they have to come in town and do it? Or no, yeah, that's that's a good question because that's another um, beauty and another milestone we were able to achieve earlier. So initially, I think when we met, we were saying that it would be you know starting out for Atlanta Southeast. Now we were able to hit another milestone earlier that. We we have created um, kind of like a supplement that comes with a kit and we are able to maintain the because, you know, the, let's start from the beginning. So the urine sample collection and urine, you're in the health industry. So, you know, that the, the cells can only stay for so long. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's why you need to collect a fresh sample and start the process. Now, we were able to um, complete all the scientific work in order to prolong the life of the cells. And with the kit, you receive a supplement. So that way we can send the kit and receive it from any part of the world. Uh, sorry, oh, the country. Okay. No, the country. So we've had clients from, well, from Chicago, Texas, from California, we got a few weeks ago. So we are um, able to receive the sample in great shape from any part of the of the continental US. And that's another milestone we hit early. And that's why we're able to. Yeah. To yes, cater to that's, everybody. That's, that's that's very helpful. Um, have you guys had any case studies so far to where there's been something discovered that could save someone? Um, or is it pretty early in the venture? Or like, have you if, have you? All I didn't hear that anything? part. If we discovered which part? Um, have have you? Do you all have any case studies to where uh, you may have discovered something that somebody needed to be aware of in their genetics? Oh. Yeah. So the genetic, the genetic screening services were that's launching. New, right. Okay. That's new. Yeah. Okay. So we're launching that next week. Um, okay. But we, we are not going to that, you know, without 
having the client request it. Um, okay. But we know that there are case studies that has been uh, very, like the, the stem cells have been used. Uh, we actually put a post on our socials, I think it was last week, where there has been different case studies of people that benefited. So um, a paralyzed man was able to walk again by using stem cells. Wow. Um, there was a cornea transplant, I think in Japan, uh, that they were able to see again. There was, uh, with diabetes, there was another case of uh, cure type A diabetes. So there are already so many cases that are coming um, on the surface. And even that is a bit earlier that we were both expecting. We were expecting it to come in the coming years, but already this year, there is um, case studies of uh, stem cell therapies being successful. So the technology, you know, everything is evolving, but everything is happening in real time. Yeah. And that's why we want people to benefit from storing their stem cells early in their adult life. And, you know, then you have that peace of mind for how things evolve in your life. You know, you have a backup. Some people call it like a biomedical insurance. And that's kind of what it is. I love that. I love that. I think that we covered a lot here in... I, I definitely, I think I'm just going to be, I'm continuing to follow everything that you're doing. And um, I, I definitely want to uh, be an instrument for you all um, as I go along my journey as the care girl and, and um, talk, because that this is something that I think is, is life changing. And, and I'm not just saying this, just to say this, um, but I really think it is because you, you have a lot of, of I've, I've, I've actually met with a stem cell company here in Atlanta, but they are more aesthetics. Mm. So it's all it's all centered around aesthetics. And I'm just like, how is this really, you know, helping? I get it. Um, but I think that people really, really downplay like, you know, the the inner part of like really being healthy and being able to prevent this. And like you said, being able to cure certain things by um, storing those stem cells. Like I didn't get that side of it at all. Mm. So mm. I see that I see that the get get the money quickly side of it as far as like hey you're injecting it you're doing different things to your lips you, you know the stem cells can be used for different things you know it can even be used for joint pain and and things like that but i this is this is the the subscription model all of that this is this is extremely unique and i really i, I think you guys did an amazing job with this and Thank you. Um, i'm excited for you i'm excited for you but I know you are busy over there marketing and doing your doing all the things that you do. I really appreciate you coming on the show. And I can't wait to get updates of, of more and more of what you all are doing. And, and I can't wait to actually come and view um, the, the lab one day and in Atlanta and, and get to expose more of you all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. It was great to be on and reconnect. Um, just a quick shout out, you know, we are still welcoming angel investors. If there is anybody in your listeners who want to be part of the next game changer in biotech, uh, let us know uh, because we are only having people that really believe in the vision, that believe in what we're doing. We are the first company actually to bring stem cell technology in the way we do um, in a non-invasive way, scientifically proven way. So we're very proud of that and we want to continue um, making that available and accessible to people. Um, so yeah, we're here. We'll be happy to welcome you and reconnect and thank you again for having me on. It's been great. Where can everybody find you all online? So our website is www.delphistem.com. So it's D-E-L-P-H-I stem, S-T-E-M.com. All the information is on there. You can see also on our frequently asked questions page, we have a lot of information of questions that come up a lot. So that is, um, and we also have information on the genetic screening services there already live. Um, and yeah, we you can connect with us on our socials as well. And we are here to answer any other questions that may come up. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank Thanks you. So much. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.